All right, for this next part of the video, let's go ahead and review our um, discussions on early humans, okay? And um, I'd also like to take a quick moment to let you know that with these lectures, this is the point where you will start filling out this lecture sheet that I've given you. You'll find that some of these have blank lines. I will point out when that, uh, when that word is coming up and where to fill it out so you know how to fill this out, okay? So just go ahead and follow along. If you see a word that's missing, I will point out and make sure that you understand where that word goes and what word it is, okay? Now, with early humans, if you'll remember, Homo sapiens, we have them emerging from Africa, from the African continent, between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago. And let's remember that these time frames are very loose, okay? It's important to understand that we can't get really quite exact on dates, and so we have to have very wide ranges when we talk about things like the Stone Ages and when we talk about things like early humans, okay? That's very important, okay? What are some of these qualities of these early humans, of our ancestors? Well, we know we've already been talking about how it all begins in Africa, okay? And then migration out of the African continent eventually. We'll discuss that in just a second with a map, okay? We also know that these Homo sapiens have very large brains, okay? So they're able to um, use those large brains to maybe um, do some more complex ta tasks, like the development of tools, okay? Even hominids, if you'll remember from our video, even hominids were using some of these tools. So our ancestors that be come before Homo sapiens, it's important to understand that some of those hominids were already using tools before the Homo sapiens emerge. Okay, that's very important to know. Okay, another thing that is important to know about early humans is they are also marked by what is known as by pedal or bipedal movement, okay? All this means is what I'm doing right now. I am walking upright. You can tell that I'm not on all fours to get around, that I can stand up straight, and that I can walk from point A to point B. This is a major characteristic of early humans, bipedal movement. And that, once again, comes from Latin. We have ped, which means foot or leg, and by, just like a bicycle has two wheels, that means two feet. So this literally means just walking upright on two feet. And this is a very important characteristic of the early human. Okay? Quick review, and this is one of your missing words on your lecture notes. Anthropologist, if you'll remember, anthropology is the study of someone, of uh, human societies and cultures, whether they are in the past or in the present, and an anthropologist would be a scientist who studies human culture, okay? So that was one of your blank ones there. Make sure you get, get that filled out. If you remember, this comes from the Greek root, anthropos, which means human, okay? Now, this is something we've been discussing all week. This is just a little bit of a review for you. Prehistory is broken into those several Stone Ages, and we kind of went over those Stone Ages throughout the week. Let's just do a quick review, okay? We have the Paleolithic. This means the old Stone Age, the oldest one you can think of, okay? The Paleolithic, the old Stone Age. You'll see that some of the characteristics of this Stone Age would be the use of tools. And the Paleolithic Stone Age also includes those hominids that we're using tools before the emergence of Homo sapiens. Make sure you understand that. That we have some of our ancestors that aren't even technically modern humans that are participating in this Stone Age. And they're making tools. They're making art for the first time. They're making music. Pretty cool stuff. Also, it's important to know that we have fire, used fire, the control of fire to do certain things like warm people to bring light and possibly even to cook food by about 120,000 years ago, okay? Now, my quick question to you before we move on to the Mesolithic is what are some of the uses of fire that you can think of? Now, I want you to push out of your mind what fire could possibly used, uh, be used for today, like, let's say, uh, nuclear fission or uh, launching a rocket. Of course, they're not doing that in the Paleolithic Stone Age. I want you to take a second to think 
about what these early humans might have been using fire for. I'll let you pause for a second. And we're back. Okay, now our next Stone Age is the Mesolithic. If you'll remember, this means Middle Stone Age, okay? And you'll see this one's underlined here. Sorry, I have an underline on this guy too. That one is not one of yours. Uh, Mesolithic is underlined there. That is one of your vocabulary terms on your lecture sheet there. Make sure you don't miss it, okay? The Mesolithic period is somewhere between 5,000 and 15,000 years ago. And this period is marked by the discovery of pottery. And this is very big because if you think about it, these early humans know that they need to be near sources of water to survive. Water is very important, especially in the heat. You guys know that, right? Well, pottery is important because this allows these communities to take water from a water source like a river or a lake and bring it back to the community. So with pottery, we're able to move the community, move the villages, farther and farther away from the water source, okay? Something they might not necessarily like, but something they can do now if they need to. We also have the use of canoes. We also have fishing coming up in a big way in the Mesolithic, including the development of fishing tackle that can help them catch these fish, okay? We also have tool use as well, but in the Mesolithic, we're starting to create tools out of wood. And the reason that is, is that you can create a lot more wood tools then you can stone tools where you have to, you know, kind of bang those stones together until you get your desired result. With wood, you can be a little bit more specific on what you want to make and you can make it quicker. Okay, so that's the Mesolithic. Make sure you don't miss your vocab there. Last Stone Age, we have the Neolithic. If you'll remember, this means the New Stone Age. The New Stone Age, okay? And our major um, characteristics of this Stone Age would be domestication of animals. I'll talk about that in just a second. Agriculture, and specifically, the end of nomadic life for some. We're going to move away from that constant migration of trying to find food, water, and shelter, and we're just going to sit down and build a community, build a village, and stay where we're at year-round. This is big, okay? Instead of having to move around all the time, we're going to actually start building our homes and our cities, okay? Big step right here, okay? So let me go ahead and stop this video here. The next uh, video will be just a quick review of, uh, of some of our terms and also some map work as well.